The traffic in Nairobi city was tight as thousands of Ugandan fans flocked to Kenya to support the Uganda cranes during the African Nations Cup encounter with the Harambe Stars. For the whole day, Nairobi was buried in yellow, with the Ugandan fans blowing with zealous and singing different traditional songs, including the Chitiwa Chab Uganda. <laughs> At some point, an argument like this one between a Ugandan fan and Kenyans broke out. Uganda, we are going to beat you 2-0 in puru puru condition. Sese watu ya Uganda, usakuja kupiga Kenya, goro tatu, kwa zero, watu ya Kenya mkazane na mbio. Sese wakati usoka mwajia ya Uganda peke yati. Tano, 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 However, to some Kenyans, the Ugandan Vuvuzela sound was an opportunity to showcase their dancing talent. Long queues of Ugandans surrounded the Nyan Stadium, but some fans unfortunately stayed out of the stadium after failing to access the match tickets. This Ugandan was almost hit by the lead car for Laila Odinga's convoy, and his complaints were only answered by a push from the security officer. Security out of the stadium was visibly tight, but inside the police had to intervene to avert the fight that was about to break out between these two groups of supporters. What a tiresome job it was for this police officer. After the situation was returned to normal, the two sides got onto the pitch to start the game. Missed opportunities characterized the 90 minutes of the game and it ended in a goalless draw. Now Uganda will travel to Guinea Bissau with four maximum points and Kenya will now have to struggle to beat uh, Angola in their next game. For NTV Sport, I'm Sam Poza.